What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me today for episode number 116 of the Car 5 Podcast. You guys know me, of course. I'm your host, Joshua. For today's episode, we're going to be talking about how Koenigsegg has yet again broken another speed record, which, funny enough, is one previously set by themselves. So as usual, everybody, let's go ahead and just dive right into things. So to no surprise, everybody, Koenigsegg is back at it very recently, in fact, at breaking more records. But what's funny enough is the records they continue to break are ones that are themselves. So they're initially breaking a record from another manufacturer, then they're coming and breaking it, and then they're going to break it, and then they ended up breaking it again. So it's pretty funny, but it shows how drastic the cars are improving in the technology and the engineering that's going into their vehicles and how good they actually are. And the record we're going to be talking about specifically today is going from zero miles per hour to 249 miles per hour, call it 250 if you want, and then back to zero miles per hour. Now, why would that record be important? Well, if you happen to be one of these insane and extremely fast hypercar companies, There's no point in going 249 or 250 miles per hour if you can't stop, which I would hope they can stop rather quickly. And let me tell you, Koenigsegg's can. So that's why this record in regards to a hypercar is actually important. But let's go ahead and look at the trail of events and how this record actually happened. You see, because it was originally set by Bugatti. Bugatti originally went from zero to 249 miles per hour back to zero in a total time of 41.96 seconds which is phenomenal getting to zero to 249 is hard enough as it is but going from zero to 249 back to zero in less than a minute is mind-boggling Koenigsegg saw that as an opportunity to try and beat that in which they took their gear at RS and beat Bugatti's time by five whole seconds which in regards to racing in any form is an extremely long time so they set the record of 36.44 seconds as if that's not wild enough here's where a real shocker comes in Koenigsegg then made in what I would imagine I don't know the exact details of it of a few modifications or an adjustments to their Aguirre RS but they went back to capture their old record of 36.44 and set a new time of going from 0 to 249 to 0 in 33.29 seconds. So from 0 miles per hour to 249 miles per hour back to 0 miles per hour in less than 34 seconds. In half a minute, You've gone from 0 to 250 to 0. I want to know what that feels like. I really do. I've personally never been over 200 miles per hour in a car, let alone 250, obviously. But to accelerate and brake that fast, that has to have some serious G-forces going on in your gut like you're in a roller coaster or something. Now, hold on there's more ladies and gentlemen because yes Koenigsegg has yet again beat their own record this time they've beaten their previous Segura RS's record with one of their newest models the Regera which by the way has around 1500 horsepower and um, basically doesn't even have a transmission it's got one gear so how does that make sense it's very complicated actually a good idea for an episode we should make i'll consider that to talk about that car but long story short the regera has gone from zero basically teleported to 249 miles an hour and then teleported again back to zero miles per hour in 31.49 seconds which means the regera only took 22.87 seconds to get to 249 miles per hour in less than 23 seconds you are at 
249, 250 miles per hour. I am dying to know what that feels like. Now, as mind-boggling as that is, we all know Koenigsegg released a new a new model, the Yesco. And it is mainly built for the track, but they've already talked about how they are building a top speed version. So if they are building a top speed variant of the Yesco, I would like to know that time for zero to 249 to zero. Obviously, this is a, a test run and a speed run that Koenigsegg likes to do. So I have no doubt in my mind they will try that with the Yesco when it comes out. But Koenigsegg, amazing company, amazing staff, Christian von Koenigsegg, pure genius. And these cars are just mechanical feats of engineering. But ladies and gentlemen, just know it's important to go fast, but it's even more important to be able to stop. That's all we have for episode number 116. Don't forget to follow on Instagram, like on Facebook. If you guys are checking out the YouTube for the first time, or I should say the podcast for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. Feel free to head over to the YouTube, unless you're watching on YouTube already. And by the way, if you are, thank you so much. And just browse the channel. If you guys see what you like, hit that subscribe button. If you don't mind, leave a like on this video as well. And if you guys ever need anything from me, don't forget to shoot me an email info at car5podcast.com whether you want to just talk about cars you have a recommendation for me you want to talk about a certain episode just email me i'm here for you guys and don't forget to check out the link in the description as well if you guys are looking for your favorite hat shirt jacket you know from your favorite car company www.tlog.com got a coupon code for you guys link in the description last but not least please don't forget to check out the next episode very exciting episode number 117 we're going to be talking about the newest concept car that was really leaked images from mclaren which is believed to be their newest hyper car the bc03 thank you so much everyone for tuning in please remember to drive safe and have a fantastic evening thank you